Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the accelerometer on the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. At the center of every board, we have a three-axis accelerometer that allows you to detect the orientation of the board at any moment. So accelerometers work by detecting the force of gravity bearing down on the board. And normally, when the board is flat on the table, the z-axis runs up and down from the board. The z-axis will be recording a positive one gravity going straight down. When we tip it to the side, the left and right side of the board is the x-axis. When we tip it to the side, then the x-axis will read that force of gravity on it. And, using, and the same with the y-axis. And using that data, we can, we can tell at any time the exact orientation of the board. We can also read its acceleration. So if the force it's reading is greater than gravity, or if there's, it's detecting no gravity, then it would be in free fall. And we can also create other gesture recognitions like a shake or um, detect the rotation or something like that. So today we're going to use MakeCode to program it. So just to give you a better look at the program that we've made, it detects a tilt in any direction on the board using live accelerometer data and turns lights on that side on when it's tilted. So let's let's take a look at MakeCode and to get started, I want to show you how to how to view live data coming from the Circuit Playground Express to to, to get a better feel of of what's coming out of that accelerometer. So we're going to use an advanced feature this time, something we haven't used before, and we're going to go down to console. So console is is something that the board is outputting will output to the computer so that we can view it in real time. So we're going to use console log value, <clears throat> which says x equals and then zero. And in that zero, we're going to take an input. Now there's two ways to interface with the accelerometer in make code. And the first one is this on shake command. So this is an event type. Um, interface with the accelerometer, you can put a block of code in here and it will wait for that action to happen. And you have a lot of options. You have shake, you have tilt up, tilt down, face up, face down, free fall, and then um, acceleration that's greater than gravity like 3Gs, 6Gs, or 8Gs. And then whenever whenever those conditions are met, it will It'll run whatever codes inside it. That's not going to work for us right now, but I just want to introduce you to it. The other way is the live data, which is the acceleration in milligees, which is uh, is um, thousands of a gravity is what it returns. So one thousand would be one one gravity. So we'll say console log value x equals the acceleration of x. And I'm just going to right click and duplicate this a couple times to save us some time. And we'll change this one to y and this to z. And then the same, the same on in each field. So we have the, we have the same axis aligned with the same acceleration data. So if we download this to our board, there we go. We will be able to do show console device. Now something that's important to note here is that I'm using the Windows app version of the make code editor. If you're using the in browser, uh, there's not a way for the show console to device option to appear, but you will be able to have the simulator so you can get the same results by, 
by moving around on the virtual Circuit Playground Express, but I think there's no real substitute for for moving your actual board and seeing the live results. So I would recommend on the Windows App Store, it's a free program, get the make code from there and install it from your, to your computer. And then you don't need to have access to the internet to work on your code either. So just to show you what we have here, we have down at the bottom, we have uh, the serial monitor of the data coming back. So it's hard to read because it's flying by pretty fast, but we can pause it. So it's printing X, Y, Z in the value with the, or the board in the orientation of sitting flat on the table. So X is zero, Y is zero, Z is about a thousand. So it's reading one gravity straight down, which is correct. And then one of the cool features about the show console in make code is that it graphs it for you. So we'll go back to recording it. And this is graphing all the live data from our accelerometers. And it looks really jerky right now because the limits of the graph expand to, to fit the maximum sensed data. So even though we're, it has a little margin of error to it, and be, when I bump the table, it shows up. So just to make the graph look a bit clearer, we'll move it around a little bit so it so it gets through the full extent of its range. And then the graph's gonna look a little bit more like we, we'd expect it to. So as the board is sitting flat on the table, we see our Z axis is reading negative 1000 or one gravity right now. If we tilt the X up or the Y up, sorry, There's a bit of a delay there, but now we have a almost zero reading on our Z axis. We have a, about a 1000 on our Y axis and a little bit of noise here from when we moved our X axis. If I move it to the side, so the X is pointing up, then we'll see that our X is pointing down, that X drops, Y drops. So there's a bit of delay, but you can, you can really get a feel for what to expect when you put the board in, in different positions. And if you were to use the Circuit Playground for a science project or something, you can, you can collect some very real position data with this and export it straight to a, an Excel spreadsheet, which could be quite cool. So we'll go back to We'll go back to our main project, which is our accelerometer lights, and I'll go over how we made that. Um, so the basic part of the program sits in a forever loop, which you should be familiar with right by now. And we use live data acceleration rather than events because there's less delay. If you use the event, then when you tilt the board once, Let's put this program back on the board. When you tilt the board once, the lights will turn on and then there'll be a bit of delay before something else happens. And I find that the using live data just makes for a bit cleaner of a result unless you have one long event that, one long piece of code that you want to play whenever it's tilted on its side. So, we used one large if loop, and I'll make another version right next to it so you can see. So within a forever loop, we put a if else loop, and now it says if true then. So we have a ring of lights that we wanna turn on when, when it's in a certain position, and but we want only want it to turn on, say, when Y is greater than a half a gravity. So when it's tilted at least 45 degrees. So we need a comparison there. So we'll go into logic again. And in our comparison fields, we have the greater than. So we'll drag this comparison into our 
if get an Excel live data acceleration as our input and we'll set that to Y and then we're gonna I'm gonna change this to be when Y is greater than or equal to and set that to the value to 500 if we set it we can set it to a thousand but then it'll only turn on when the board is completely vertical and if we set it to too small of an amount, then the lights will flicker a little bit when the board is slightly moved. So you really can just play with the sensitivity there. I chose 500 because it would be difficult to activate two axes at the same time um, with a value of 500 at normal gravity since 1000 is the total gravity and two of them can't point straight up at the same time, or you'd have to get it in a very exact position. It's pretty unlikely for that to happen. So another thing to note about our if else loop is there's only one field here. We, we need to have a lot of fields. There's a little plus mark at the bottom. If you click that, then it gives you additional fields to fill in. So our program will run through, look for enough acceleration on the y-axis. If it doesn't see that, it will move to negative acceleration on the y-axis. Then same with x plus and minus. And then our finally our else is if it's sitting flat, if it's not tilted at all, then we'll clear all our lights. So that makes for a pretty simple project. I think it's really re rewarding to make projects that use the accelerometer data because it's just something that you don't really encounter too much in in like retail products is uh, position responsive items except in maybe some more high-end electronics so it's it's really fun to be able to make a project like that on your own so that wraps up my tutorial on how to use the accelerometer on the adafruit circuit playground express if you want to learn more about the other sensors and features of the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express and how to program using those, head over to our Circuit Playground tutorial section. We've got a lot of great content for you. Thanks.